The idea of fire sounds bad, but one graduate student at the University of Connecticut would argue that fire is actually good for the environment when handled properly. A study reveals that a Pine Barren community in central Wisconsin hasn't had a fire since 1958. This may seem like a good thing, however, this community now lacks plant and animal diversity. It's really what they're finding is that species diversity has declined over time because of the lack of fire in the system and then also the increases in temperature. Fire is good for plant communities because the heat helps unlock nutrients from fallen leaves and tree bark. It also eradicates diseases and creates new habitats for other animals. I'm saying that Smokey the Bear still says <laughs> no to wildfires, no to you putting your cigarettes out in a fire, but we need um, prescribed fires. So train professionals that will take a fire in a smaller area and burn this area that's away from people's homes. If a plant community goes too long without a controlled fire, then the next time a natural one occurs, it could be deadly like the ones we see in California. And the reason why we need these fires, so you see these intense, intense kind of sporadic and um, wildfires throughout California because this tender for the fire, this fuel for the fire has been building up for 20 years. And so if someone puts their cigarette out accidentally or lightning strikes, then you're going to get this out of control fire. And although fire may emit air pollutants, I think the compromise is not allowing the fire fuel to build up over a large amount of time. So you have less of greenhouse gas emissions and CO2 being emitted into the atmosphere. So I think that's the best way to kind of combat the bad side of fire. Tanisha also says this study in central Wisconsin is crucial for understanding the impacts of human-induced climate change. For UCTV News, I'm Grace Gagnon.